Here we welcome you at the historical grounds of Bicocca, the former industrial area in the north of Milan. This enormous building behind us is the Pirelli Hangar Bicocca, and today we are visiting its more than 15,000 square meters, taken up by many different cultural cross-disciplinary activities like exhibitions, installations, performances, video, talks, workshops, dance and music, thereby being one of the most advanced centers in the world to experience contemporary art. And we see Mr. Vincente Todoli, the artistic director of Pirelli Hangar Bicocca. Thank you to be there. Thank Pleasure. you, Mr. Todoli. You were so an impressive experience about the museums and the foundation. We are very blessed, must say, because you, you was the director of the Tate Modern. Yes. You was also in Porto. You was Salves. now, yeah, and now it's a new museum, the Bomb Gens, I think, in Venice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and also the Botin Foundation in Santander. Yeah, uh, okay. the new center, Venezuela Piano, where I'm, I'm the head of the advisory board. Yeah. yeah. So okay. now it's only foundations. <laughs> <laughs> that's good because we want From to talk to you to about foundations. This. Yeah. Right. That's been my. That's. Yeah. But oh. what's strange? You have always magical cycles of seven years. Yes, the know. seven years each. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. since 2013, you you are the boss of uh, here the Perilly Foundation. What is the, the special challenge for you here, between the other places? Well. Uh, the first thing was the space. The space, because after Tate I said, I don't want to direct any uh, museums anymore. I directed three. The first one was in Valencia, Ivan. So my cycle was over with three museums. Like three strikes, you're out. Three museums, you're out. I'm free now. <laughs> I'm free now to do what I want. And I had no plans, but when they offered me <coughs> the, to, uh, to be artistic director of uh, Angar Bicolca, I came to see the space. Before I had seen it as a visitor. And uh, it was the space I thought about. Because, first of all, when you came here, it was only one space. You could see the kefirs. So wherever you went, you saw the kefirs. So when, they, uh, when Mr. Tonketti asked me to become a director, I said, well, uh, three conditions. One, two orchestras can be playing at the same time unless they are collaborating. So we have here one orchestra, which is Kiefer. I'm going to do another program, another orchestra, so I need uh, to separate it. Uh, so I need, uh, with the separation, with fabric, no? with, uh, yeah. not architecturally. First thing. Second, uh, I want to do a program. A program doesn't mean an exhibition here and there. A program is a kaleidoscope. It's like a spider web that is related what comes before, what comes after, and what is at the same time. Yeah. And third, absolute freedom. <laughs> he said yes to all three of them. Uh, and then it's okay. And uh, so, to me, uh, somehow, when I saw the space here, it reminded me of the Turbine Hall at the Modern, where we had the uh, Turbine Hall commissions, no? the Unilever uh, series, <clears throat> which I did for seven years. And I said, okay, but I'm not going to repeat what I did. I never repeat myself. It doesn't make sense, it's boring. But I think there it was commissions, but I think I, here I could do site-specific retrospectives, which is very different. Then I divided the spaces, Navate and, and the cube, where we have now the Fontana, or the shed, where we have now take me and yours. So my idea was to do uh, three and six exhibitions, six every year. Later I realized six was too much, so finally it's like four. Eh? And uh, also I had a kind of... Uh, hypothesis or imaginative hypothesis, which is here they used to do uh, locomotives, but also turbines. And I asked myself, what if the turbines at the turbine hall were made here? That would be the tie. Yeah. So I said, okay, so I can pick up from where I finished at Tate and start something completely different <laughs> here. The spirit in a way is the same, which is how to deal with uh, spaces of memory. It's what I call giving a second life to buildings. I had that experience already in Valencia with an old convent, in Porto with the Art Deco uh, Villa, at Tate with the Turbine Hall, <laughs> but here is only memory, so it's okay, only memory. Uh, so uh, the idea was one plus one equals three. The architecture 
found architecture plus art is bigger for both. Both will do something bigger than the sum of its parts. So this symbiosis will make that this space every time is in a different way, but also the art shown here will be irrepetible. You will never see an exhibition like this anywhere in the world. So if you want to see them, this a unique moment, you have to come here. Yeah. So that was what uh, this challenge was what uh, made me want to play this uh, game because finally what I have to do is play. Uh, I have fun. If I don't have fun, then it's not interesting. <laughs> okay. Because finally it's like an artist. No? <laughs> Artists have fun, I yeah. have to have fun also. Yeah. <laughs> At the moment the foundation has two different exhibitions. Take Me, I'm Yours, a group exhibition which poses essential questions about how works of art are shown and viewed. The idea was originally conceived in 1995 by the curator Hans Ulrich Albrecht and the artist Christian Boltanski. At the same time, you set up a unique exhibition of Lucio Fontana's installations, revealing a side of him we rarely have a, an opportunity to experience. Both exhibitions appear to be very representative of what Pirelli Hankar Bekoka stands for. Could you tell us something about the policy of exhibitions here? Yes, so uh, the first thing is we don't do things that have already been done. So just use a name, just uh, to bring people. If you don't have anything new to say, better to shut up. It's not worth to uh, transport works, all these energies, just to sell a name. No, it has to be content. To me, content is 100%. Yeah. Uh, the re, uh, all the rest comes on content. So, so that's the first thing. The second thing is it has to be an exhibition in dialogue with our architecture, with uh, our memory. Yeah. And uh, the third thing uh, was that it had to be uh, artists that this kind of work had never been shown in Italy. Yeah. Oh, so uh, okay. these, these were my three obstructions. I like these obstructions because it makes you be more imaginative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, these difficulties make the reward be bigger for everybody. Yeah. Right. For me, for the foundation, for the public. So uh, in a way, these constraints okay. are what make you really mm -hmm. uh, go beyond uh, what would be a conventional art program. Education in art is a very important aspect of Pirelli, Hangar Boca. There's no entrance fee here. And Everywhere you see Pirelli crew uh, with their um, uh, hashtag Art to the People shirts available to guide and instruct everybody around. What's the philosophy behind this? Well, that's the first thing. We don't have uh, guards, we have mediators. So uh, uh, it's not people who will tell you don't touch. As a matter of fact, many of our exhibitions are, are you're supposed to interact. But it's people who will be available to answer your doubts, your question, to offer uh, some help. Is what I call a uh, if you want to uh, climb a mountain and you need oxygen and you need some uh, uh, help, you know, uh, then it's okay, we'll provide you. The ideal thing is to do it with no help. But for me, the objective would be that finally the spectator can walk alone. And okay. it's not uh, a threat to have uh, uh, it's their own opinions and their own confrontations and, uh, and then Decide for yourself, because I don't believe in art history. I believe in uh, art stories. Right. I think art history is made by each spectator. Of course, with knowledge, with experience. So people tell me, how to learn about art? By experiencing art. The ultimate experience is walk nude mentally yeah. mm -hmm. and just let yourself be taken by art. And uh, of course, the first uh, is art to the people, not art for the people. Because we do uh, research. All our program is based in research because we do new exhibitions that have never been done. But uh, we want to share that with all the rings, not only with our colleagues, with the artists, but also with the people. But uh, for that, we open the doors. First, no entrance fee, but second, the mediators and any information so that you will feel comfortable and you, do, you will not feel intimidated by art. Art doesn't intimidate. Yeah. And, or, and your opinion counts, whatever it is. The yeah. level it is, listen, first your level will be uh, a little bit more to the ground, but little by little, if you start looking at art, fin finally you are going to climb the ladder. Yeah. And, and finally it will be you and art. 
the experience that Fontana wanted. With these rooms, Fontana ideally had one spectator that would come and would confront, and he said, not giving lessons, not telling you what to think. You decide what to think. You take it with you home. And it's what will stay in your mind, your memory. That's what counts. So ideally, that's our, uh, our policy. It's like uh, we provide with all the shared elements so that you can walk alone. <laughs> Great. So there's a question of the public, because you have, as I said before, the, the experience between Spain, England, Italy, and you know, the, the Portugal. Place, Portugal. Yeah. And do, 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 do you feel it's a difference between the reaction of the public in this, this way, as you say, to who you, you see a kind of human community, this is react to the same, or there are more code from this one or this one, and do, do you have to manage that? Yeah. Well, uh, going beyond common places, yeah. I think finally is the same. Finally, what I've been very proud in all the places I've been is that uh, we were able always to attract a young audience, and that's the future. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, when young people feel this a place where they can expand their horizons, I think they are the mission is uh, accomplished. Uh, I remember once in Valencia when I started starting. We, we had visits from small villages, buses, from uh, uh, elderly people. And one guy from a farming uh, uh, village told uh, the guide, you know, this I don't understand, but I think my, grad, my grandson would love it. That was the question. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that he recognized, okay, I'm from another time, this is too much for me, but respect, you yeah. know? Yeah. To be proud this could happen and this could be useful for the grandson or the granddaughter. That to me yeah. is the, because when you work with culture, you don't work in the short term effect. You work the long term effect. Yeah. It's what I describe the difference between best sellers and long sellers. I'm not interested in, in best sellers. I'm interested in long sellers. Yes, so uh, Ulysses, you know, uh, was uh, the, the first year they published, maybe, maybe they sold 50 books, but still being sold. Mm -hmm. The, the year the Ulysses was uh, uh, published, probably you had the bestseller, which now we forgot. So that's what I'm uh, interested. Okay. To me, uh, art is like throwing a stone into the sea, thinking there is fish there, and maybe the stone will catch the, the fish. You don't know if it's there, you imagine. But then also the other important thing, you catch it, you don't catch it, okay. But it's the waves it provokes, these waves, how far they go. But this is something that is difficult to explain to politicians because they want the short term. But foundations can understand because foundations work in the long term. So yeah. they are, uh, and that's culture. Yeah. Uh, uh, you cannot expect, unless you go into a commercial way, to yeah. rip uh, mm -hmm. right away. No, no. It's, you are doing something for, it's like planting a garden. You plant a tree, you will enjoy it a little bit, but you are planting it for the future. Yeah. Oh, yeah, perfectly right. You make the artist for tomorrow, too. Yeah, yes. that's, that's so beautiful. Direct experience is essential with art. And, uh, and, and the way that you say it's more institutional, so you have the experience of the museums and the experience of the foundation, and you told the foundation more the, 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 the spirit of the time. But you feel it as a director also, you, they, they ask you something else, you, you felt no, that? No, I don't accept instructions. When I, when I go to a place, <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, I'm sorry, if you uh, ask me, it's going to be what I think. Yeah. If, if uh, you want to do a deal, then you choose somebody else. Yeah. Uh, because already when I started with a place, I first I analyzed the sense of place. Mm. And only when I, uh, I read the place, then I will create a program that talks to the place and talks to the world. Mm. It's, I call it, uh, it's like a human body, which is a radar, one, feet hooked into the territory, and one detecting signs of art in the universe. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my uh, specialty, reading situations and, and coming with programs. What I find is that uh, in foundations, they understand this. In museums, usually you have always people coming to tell you, uh, giving you advice. Yeah. And I said, I don't want advice, I make mistakes alone. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, a, a politician coming to, be, because if a museum depends on the government, some politician, some politician will come, they have all these objectives. And I was lucky enough that all the museums where I've been, I also pretty much, pretty much, did what I wanted. But I had to take these pressures 
sometimes politicians, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, uh, social, uh, or sometimes, uh, let's say, the income. Yeah. So, which is also very bad. The, you are not free if you depend on income. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you need an income for the program, so that's the reason I say, in foundations you are free because the income is provided already, so they, they have an objective. If, if your objective of the foundation and, uh, and your objective are the same, then you can concentrate 100% on content, mm -hmm. yeah. which is what I'm interested. Art and artist first, and the institution after. Mm -hmm.